Hey guys, welcome to my channel! Hey there, welcome, welcome. Happy Saturday. It is Saturday morning, at least here in America. America! And where I live in America, it's, we actually got quite a bit of snow. How do you like that? I got one of those blizzard notifications on my phone. Oh my god, there's a blizzard coming. Oh, everybody look out. And I'm like, dude, I grew up here. Who cares? It snows, all right? Yeah, but but snow though. Yeah. Come on. Come on, you guys. It's just snow. Yeah, but but oh my god. All right, stop, stop. Stop. It's just snow, man. It's just it's just some snow. It's just snow, bro. Don't tase me, bro! How you guys doing? It's Saturday. I hope you're having a nice, relaxing Saturday. I sure am. We're going to find out what the truck is up with the Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine. Poor Divine Masculine. What is our favorite hero up to today. I liked yesterday's reading an awful lot. I have to say, lots of good energies. Um, and I like I like it when the very deep spiritual concepts, like the ones we discussed in yesterday's reading, come up. Because that's really getting to the core of what this is all about, guys. You and your twin flame are the same spirit. You are the same soul. So I guess what you gotta do is the true spiritual journey. You gotta do soul stuff. You gotta do the soul journey. You gotta be like James Brown. I'm a soul man. I'm pretty sure that was James Brown. Yeah, that was James Brown. And James Brown says that cocaine is a hell of a drug. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Oh, yeah. Not something I could recommend. But think about it, guys. Think about it for just a second. You and your twin flame are the same soul. you got to do as the soul does. you got to do as the soul does. And, you know, these... Dude, what is with this tarot deck? Today. Oh my god, dude. Come on. This doesn't need to take all day, Mr. Tarot Deck. There we go. These deeper spiritual concepts is what this journey is all about. That's exactly what you need to do if you're new to my channel. It may comfort you to know that I am what you call a divine feminine and also a coach. I don't just do tarot readings and give you advice on the side. No, actually it's the other way around. I'm a professional twin flame coach. I've been doing this for a while. I've got over a thousand people that I've helped and I was able to attract my twin flame to me too. And so, yeah, you should listen to me <laughs> when I talk about this stuff. This is You know, this is going to be deeper than thought. Uh-oh, the lights are flickering. Is the power going to go out? Hey, if the power goes out, that's okay. It might just get a little dark. It might just get a little dark, but I'm on my phone recording this, so at least I'll be able to finish recording. Gosh, I hope I'll be able to upload the video, though. That would kind of suck, huh? That would kind of be awful. Well, anyway, guys... You two are the same soul. It's not thought, the soul. It's not thought. And when I say that you have to learn about these deeper spiritual concepts, it's not really a concept, but we can have a conversation about it. And after a while, you would go, oh my gosh, that makes sense. And it turns out what we are talking about is actually something other than thought. That's the best definition for what the soul is. Something other than thought. 
You guys, a lot of the same cards are coming out. Not surprising. It's a very pivotal week for the Divine Masculine. What? This reading is blowing my mind, you guys. Wow. These cards are very similar to the cards we've been getting for the last few days. Very, very interesting, guys. Anyway, if you want some immediate relief from the obsessive thinking that you may have with your Twin Flame, read The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. You can get started today. Uh, that's usually the first thing that I tell people to do because it works. That's the true spiritual journey. In a nutshell, read that book. All right, guys, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. So time is seemingly slowing down for so-called divine masculine. Time seemingly is slowing down. And divine masculine finds his or herself in a position where they are without really seeming to know that they are doing this. It doesn't seem like they know that they are doing this, but they are, um, I don't want to say embracing. If anybody is embracing, it's you, Divine Feminine, but they are embodying these deeper spiritual teachings, which is what I talked about at the beginning of this video. And that's what this is all about. And, and they're having these experiences and they might not be able to put their finger on it. They might not know exactly why they feel different, but they do. And they know they feel different. They do know that. They might not know what it is that is going on with them, which is this kind of an awakening. And the only reason that Divine Masculine could possibly have for awakening is because you are Divine Feminine. You lead the way. You lead the way in this. You and Divine Masculine are one. You don't need to wait for him or her to do any awakening or do any kind of spiritual, what appear to be spiritual activities or anything like that. You just worry about you, Divine Feminine, and they will energetically shift too. It really does work that way. You are one. You and your twin flame, you are one. And this tower card is indicative of why we are here right now, why we are in this place, because you've been doing such a beautiful job, Divine Feminine, and if we want to build a big, beautiful castle, a big, beautiful crystal castle, we have to tear down the old piece of shit building first, right? And that's what the tower is. That's what the tower is. And Divine Masculine uh, just went through that. Okay, towards the so-called karmic, same thing, the Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands, both in the reverse, so, same thing, tearing down old structures, um, things that we want to work out that are not working out. They are not responding, and they're not going to anytime soon. Um, looking within to the beauty within instead of expecting something on the outside to work out. And then towards you, Divine Feminine, you know, I'm sorry, uh, apologies, right? Knight of Swords in reverse next to the Queen of Pentacles. Oh gosh, I don't want to screw this up this time. Maybe I better slow down. Eight of Wands in reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse. Maybe I better slow down and think about this before I fuck it up again with Divine Feminine. And that could explain why they're not talking to you right now if they're not talking to you. Um, they are contemplating these higher modalities of being, you know, being a higher consciousness, not being the same old runner that they've always been. Right at the center of the reading is the Two of Wands in the reverse. Now, the Two of Wands in the reverse is someone who knows they should be making plans, but are not. But in this reading, because of the other energies here, this is where... I try to be the best tarot reader that I can be and tell you what this particular card means in this reading. It's one whole, the tarot reading, right? So that's going to affect every other card. Each card affects all the other cards, the other parts of the whole. Divine Masculine does not need to make plans. 
Divine masculine is coming from that different place, guys, right? They're coming from that different place. And divine masculine doesn't need to make plans. They're just going to do. It's like that, guys. They're just going to do. And what are they going to do? The right thing. They're going to do the right thing by you. Look at this. Towards the so-called karmic situation, we have the five of pentacles and the magician. And this card just came out not that long ago. Gosh, I think it was Wednesday when it came out. If I'm not mistaken, maybe it was yesterday. I just remember seeing it uh, for the so-called karmic situation, right? And now it is coming out next to the magician. This is divine masculine, so-called, accessing their true inner power to end the suffering that they are experiencing in that situation. You're going to see divine masculine turn this whole thing around and escape what looks like a trap. And they're going to make it look so effortless. They're going to make it look so effortless, you guys. They're going to blow you away with what they can do uh, when they really want something. And what do they want? Divine Feminine. So, Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles in reverse. This is Divine Masculine putting themselves, um, or, or I should say, making themselves vulnerable to you. Divine Masculine going to be making themselves very, very vulnerable to you in the upcoming week. And I don't think I have to tell you how huge that is. They're going to tell you things that they've been thinking about um, that you want to hear. Things that needs, need to be said. They're going to be very honest with you. And it's going to be beautiful. There may be some pain that comes out. There is pain. Um, but they're going to be honest. And it's going to be a moment of vulnerability. They're going to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, obviously we just need to be compassionate and accepting. Right? Right. So far, this is a great reading. Let's see what the Oracle deck has to say, guys. And as always, if you would like to work with me or if you would like some free advice, I have both, guys. I have both. If you would like to work with me, go to my website and sign up today for the Introduction to the Journey online video coaching package. Over eight and a half hours of videos where I describe to you the nature of the soul, which is you and your twin flame. That's what that is. So what is the soul um, and how to align with your soul, which is your twin flame. That's why I've been so successful. That's why I was able to get my twin flame to come to me. I was able to attract her to me and I've been able to help so many people do it. In fact, over a thousand people that I've helped and I have students who are married to their twin flame with their twin flame. They got their twin flame to unblock them, start talking to them. They got their twin flame to chase them. They're having spiritual breakthroughs, living their best, most amazing life, which is really what you're trying to do. That really is what you're trying to do. The twin comes along as a byproduct. It's, it's extra. It's bonus, basically. But that is how this works. You do your spiritual journey for the sake of doing your spiritual journey, and that's when the person shows up. And it's crazy how good it works, guys. It's crazy how good it works. By the time you're done watching my introduction to the journey course, you're not going to have very many questions, guys. I will give you action steps that you can put in place today to start feeling better and live your best, most amazing life and even get your twin flame to act right by you again, <laughs> right? And then when you're done with the videos, you and I get a talk either in a one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting where you can ask me all of your questions. There's me and my two coaches. There's four calls a week. You'll have four opportunities to talk to me. Uh, you can either get a week-long free trial or two months, depending on which package you purchase. And it's not expensive, guys. I don't charge thousands. It's only a few hundred, at the, you know, like for the gold package, for example. That's it. I don't charge a lot of money. And by the way, if you cannot afford my already very affordable prices, no problem. I have payment plans. I can get you started for, it's like $53 for the silver package. It's very, very affordable, guys. Newworldallstar.com. Also, if you want to check out my free content, you should. If you're not sure, well, are you for real, Kurt? Why is it that I should listen to you? Why should I give you a red cent? Why should I give you any of my money? Well, you don't have to give me any money. 
maybe you could just watch my free content and figure it out, right? And it's very good. You're going to see why I'm different. Go to the main page of this channel, New World All-Star. Go to the playlists menu and look for the playlist called How to Get Your Twin Flame. And all the videos where I talk about twin flames are in that playlist. You don't have to go digging around through my channel. It, you're going to see that I'm different. And you're going to watch three or four of my videos and you're going to go, oh my God, he's right. I, I, I promise. I'm not just trying to brag. I promise. But I know that I'm different because my approach is the pure, stripped down, no frills, back to basics approach. No healing, no fixing karma, no past life regression, no getting your Akashic records read. None of that. None of that. All you got to do is align with your soul, which is your twin flame. It's very simple. It's very, very simple. Go watch my other videos. Hit me up for some coaching. Let's see what the Oracle deck has to say, guys. What is going on? What? Oh, I think it's that one. I'm going to check the rest of these. Just to be sure. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. It's that one. Holy shit. It's that one. Yep. Oh, man. What? Oh my goodness, you guys, look, compassion. So what did I just get done saying about Divine Masculine? Man, this tarot deck is on fire. This tarot table has been on fire all week, you guys. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So there you go, guys, Divine Masculine. And, and true compassion is where you have no need, right? And there's no... Like you need to be vindicated or something like that. You're just pure compassion. And that's the way it's going to have to be this week, Divine Feminine, for you. And I think you will pull that off um, beautifully. I think you will. I think you will. Look at this. Most likely outcome, Divine Masculine, the Two of Cups in reverse. I don't want to just be friends. We're done with that energy, guys. We're done with that. Mm -mm. I want something more. I want my Divine Feminine. Look at this. Towards the so-called karmic? Well, Divine Masculine knows that something's up with themselves and that they feel really great. That's why the Hermit's coming out. This is a spiritual awakening. Um, but maybe they're too shy or embarrassed or something. I don't know. That's why the Seven of Swords comes out in the reverse. They don't want to admit it to the so-called karmic. And the karmic could be a job or family or whatever. Whatever the excuse is that they're giving you for why they run, but it's usually, you know, like a boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, right? But they're not going to be honest with the so-called karmic. And it's kind of dumb because all that's happening to them is they feel good. They're having, they're feeling the energetic effects of a spiritual awakening because of what you're doing, Divine Feminine. And they don't know that that's why that's happening. They just know they feel better, right? That's the way it is with Divine Masculine. With you, on the other hand, they're going to be very honest and they're going to tell you, I feel better. Five of Cups in reverse. I'm letting go of the pain. And the star, this is the rebirth after the awful situation that just happened, the spiritual shakeup that just happened. The tower, which is number uh, 16 in the tarot, comes before the star, which is number 17. So there you go. This is the rebirth. And, and they're going to be honest with you about how they feel. And you already know what to tell them. If you decide to talk to them about it, um, just don't push it. Don't be pushy. Just, you know, you don't need to be in your face about it, right? You can just gently tell them, well, here's what I think is happening. So there you go, guys. Great reading. Good, good energy. Good job, Divine Feminine. This is great. This is really good. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new here. Go check out my other videos. And when you subscribe, please hit the bell notification icon so that you get notified whenever I post a video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow for Divine Feminine. And I'll see you then. Bye.